Welcome to your post-run, post-walk, post-workout stretch. We're going to get right into it with a quad stretch. So shift your weight over into your left foot, your right heel kicks up into your glute, you grab hold of your ankle, press your knee down and as close to your left ankle as possible, and then hips forward so that you can get that stretch into your quad. Left hand can be at your hip or it can reach out, really figure out where your balance is, and then hold it here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release it out and switch sides. Weight into your right foot, left heel kicks up, and make those same movements. Left knee down in line with your right, and press your hip forward. Find the balance with your right hand and breathe. And hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Release it out. Bring the weight back into your, into your left foot. Your right foot is going to cross in front, so pinky toes are right next to each other. Root down through your feet, get really strong in your foundation, and then start to hinge at the waist as you fold it down to get into your IT band. Hands to the ground or they float. Squeeze your legs together and straighten your legs as much as possible. Take one more big breath in here. Big breath out, root down through your feet, nice and slow, you stand back up and switch sides. Left foot crosses in front of right, pinky toes are together, squeeze your thighs together, and from your hips you start to hinge forward, relax your head down, relax your hands down, squeeze the thighs, straighten through the legs, Take a few big breaths here into that IT band. And then nice and slow, just as powerful, press down into your feet, come up to standing, separate your legs and make your way into a tabletop pose. Shoulders over wrist, hips over knee, we do a lot for the lower body when we're running, but I want you to bring in some cat cows here. So as you inhale, drop your belly, look up. And then as you exhale, round up. The legs do the majority of the work while we're running, but we also need a strong core, strong upper body to support all that. Now take one more round. So drop the belly, look up, big breath in. Round out the spine, float to the belly button, breathe it out. Come back into your neutral spine. Bring your knees together, keep your toes tucked. Let's make our way back into toes pose. Toes stay tucked, hips on your heels. Relax your shoulders, sit up nice and tall. If you're doing this inside and you have access to the block, you can place the block under you. That gives you more support. But if you're doing this outside or right after whatever your movement is, just breathe. We're almost done with it. Take one more big breath in here. Let it go. Bring your hands down back into that tabletop position. Untuck your toes, give them a little bit of a tap. Now shift your hips back, make your way onto your back. Feet are on the ground. Your right ankle will cross over your left knee for your reclined figure four shape. If this feels like a great stretch, I want you to stay here. Otherwise, start to lift your legs up to bring your legs to your torso. Head stays down, tailbone stays down, right hand reaches between the triangle created by your thighs, left hand to the outside of your left. 
thigh. You can grab your thigh, grab your shins. If you've got hold of your left leg, start to pull your leg in close to your body as you actively press your right knee away from your body. Now, if your tailbone starts lifting up, you've gone too far. Think of tailbone down, your entire back down. Make sure that the stretch and the action is coming from the hips and the glutes. Take one more breath here. Let your breath go. Release whatever grab you have. Bring your left foot back down to the ground. Right foot comes down to the ground. Left ankle crosses over your right knee. And again, stay here if this is where it feels good. Or lift the shape of your legs up and bring closer to your torso. Left hand between the triangles. Right hand to the outside. Grab your thigh. Grab your shin. As you pull your right leg towards your body, actively press your left knee away from your body. Keep your feet flexed. Big breaths in. And out. Take one more. Big breath in. Big breath out. Bring your right foot back down to the ground, left foot back down to the ground, and then just sway your legs from side to side. Give yourself a little bit of hip mobility here. One more time right, one more time left. Bring your knees into your chest, hands behind your thighs. You're gonna rock and roll your way up into a seated butterfly position. Soles of your feet touch, sit up nice and tall. Your hands can grab your ankle, grab your feet, or you can walk them out in front of you, but I want you to sit tall first, create the space in your back, and then lead with your chest as you fold forward. A great self-adjustment here is to bring your hands onto your thigh and walk in, pressing down. One more big breath in, big breath out, nice and slow, lift your torso back up. Your right foot is going to stay in, extend out your left leg, and then turn your torso towards your left leg if you made any adjustments like I just did. Sit up nice and tall, and then start to walk your hands forward, bow your head, Think of chin moving towards your shin. Nice and slow, you lift up and switch your legs out. So left foot will connect to your right inner thigh. Sit up nice and tall, turn your torso towards your extended leg, and then start to walk your hands out. Same deal, chin to chin here. You fold, feel the stretch big into your hamstring. Just as slow as you entered, you come out, sit up nice and tall, come into a comfortable cross-legged position. Your right arm is going to cross in front of your body and it's going to be held by your left arm. Take that another stretch into that shoulder. Switch sides, left arm the front of your body, right arm cradles. Then release both arms down. Give yourself a few 
shoulder shrugs up and back. And then a few shoulder shrugs forward. So up and forward. And then let your hands rest. Actually switch your legs out. So now it should be awkward leg in front. And chin to chest, nice and slow over to the right side back to the left, chin to chest. Two more times, you go right, back, left, to chest. One more time, go right, back, left, to chest. Reverse it out, go left first, back, right, to chest. Two more times, left, back, right, to chest. One more time. Left, back, right, to chest. Lift up. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Be really proud of all that you've done today, of the hard work that you put in to whatever workout you did, and also be proud of the time you took to do some recovery stretching that's gonna help you be a stronger, more efficient athlete. If there was anything that we did today that you wanna go back to and hold a little bit longer, give yourself that opportunity to go back, to sit in the stretch for however long your body needs. Um, I'll see you soon.